So we often get asked by farmers, uh, how do I choose the, the right size nozzle for my application? And usually we, we ask them a question in return, is it, and that's what size nozzle are you currently using and at what pressure? So if, for instance, they're using an extended range nozzle at, say, 30 to 40 PSI, we're probably going to suggest dropping down a size and bringing the pressure up um, to get the air induction nozzle, the turbo drop nozzle, or the air mix nozzle into uh, a more useful pressure range since 30 and 35, 40 PSI is kind of the tail end, the bottom end of the pressure range for an air induction nozzle. We want to get the pressure up. So if we drop down a size where an 04 at 40 PSI in a flat fan would be the same flow rate as an 03 at 70 PSI, let's say, that 70 PSI will put us in the middle of the operating range. That way we've got room to slow down and speed up and make uh, a more uniform droplet size across the pressure range. And at 70 PSI, generally we're going to be somewhere in that medium to coarse droplet size, which is the more functional droplet size category for most applications. Now, again, we also ask, well, what is, what is your primary goal? Are you spraying something where drift control is the most important or is coverage the most important? Uh, if it's drift control, then we're going to target usually a coarse droplet, maybe even a very coarse droplet. If coverage is more important, then we probably want to target a medium droplet. And again, with most of our nozzles, that's going to mean, you know, 60 plus PSI, probably in the 60 to 120 PSI range, depending on which size nozzle and which configuration it is. Um, but it usually works out so that a guy can choose the same nozzle uh, based on his speed, travel speed, gallonage, and chemicals, where he can run it at low pressure and do, say, glyphosate at 8 to 10 gallons in the 40 to 50 PSI range. Then he can crank the pressure up for a contact herbicide like a glufosinate or a gramoxone and put out more gallons with a little bit smaller droplet size and, and, and get the coverage he wants out of those contact chemicals which require more even uniform coverage. And, and again, it, you can just do that by changing pressure subtly, sometimes slowing down a little bit to get the droplet size you want at the pressure you want.